Buku. Buku ducats. Sup, Chicho. Dig in the bucket hat. Thanks. Was the uh, world you were looking for earlier institution? No, not institutionalized. Uh, the U.S. administration comes out and says it uh, because we're not privileged, not the chosen people, but uh, exceptional, exceptional. That's the word that the multiple U.S. administrations have used for over the last two decades, right? We're exceptional. That's equivalent to we're the chosen people, right? So Israel, United States, in large part, they behave exactly identical, right? So, for example, one thing that happened this morning was um, uh, Ukraine fired a missile guided by the United States, right? <laughs> Exceptional. <laughs> guided by United States, targeting by United States, where they hit a beach in Crimea, Sevastopol. Citizens, families at the beach in the summer swimming. They hit a beach in Sevastopol with a missile and its cluster bombs, right? From what we know so far, All right? That's what I saw this morning. Might change a little bit, right? But basically, a missile was fired at a beach, non-military target where families are swimming, picnicking on a Sunday as the Russian rep, um, Aniana, I forget her name. She came out and said, and it's a holy day. It's the Trinity, right? It's Russian Orthodox. I don't know what holy day it is, but it's a holy day for the Russian Orthodox. They hit that family beach with a missile, cluster bomb missile, cluster bomb ammunitions. It's just for civilian death and destruction, terrorized, really, right? Guided by, most likely, U.S. targeting. That means U.S. soldiers, U.S. technology, U.S. satellites, U.S. everything. The only thing that the Ukrainians did was press a button, right? And we don't even know if it was Ukrainians that pressed a button, right? So they killed a whole shitload of civilians. Israel has done the same for multiple decades. How many, how many instances do you recall? And if you've been following the Israeli-Palestinian conflict for a long time, you'll know that every now and then, in their mowing lawn process that Israel calls it when they massacre Palestinians, they kill people on the beach, right? May they be fishermen, may they be kids playing soccer, may they be families picnicking, may they be people just getting in a boat to go out or swimming. You know, over the last few decades, Israel on a regular basis kills people on the beach, Palestinians on the beach, right? United States has done this as well, multiple times, weddings, parties in Afghanistan, in Iraq, in Yemen, in Libya, in Syria, kill civilians, right? Okay. So, uh, it's extremely problematic, right? Because the only reason that they're doing this is because they believe they are exceptional. They are the chosen people. They are the Reich. They are supremacists right so the world right now is watching supremacists try to start world war three and they are supremacists if you think you're exceptional relative to the rest of the world where your population of a country is 330 million people and the rest of the world is 8 billion plus let's say 8 billion if you think you're exceptional that means you're a supremacist right end the fucking story right if you say you're your constitution is superior than all the other constitutions in every other country in the world okay you have the, or you're prettier than anybody else that you've ever met right or this art is the best art in the world relative to all the other art in the world okay but when you turn around and say a certain population are the chosen people are exceptional are a better race right pure bloods or whatever you want to call it then you're a supremacist piece of shit